What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mattel WWE action figure reveals day three at WWE World at WrestleMania 40. We have seen some insane stuff the past couple days from Mattel, and today they gave us an even more in-depth look at some of the render reveals they gave us yesterday, so let's hop right in and see what we got coming to us in the next few months. First off, I'm going to pull the Band-Aid off quick. You guys aren't going to like this, but From the Vault Series 2 is coming up, and it's going to have Series 16 Diesel in there. They're also dipping back into the Rikishi. I mean, this figure was already kind of re-released in the Hall of Champions line, then that was re-released in the Greatest Hits line, and now the original in the Red Sarong is going to be released in the From the Vault uh, line. Next up is Hall of Champions New Age Outlaws. I love these, but they're being re-released. Obviously upgraded, probably a little bit better. I will be picking these up because I do love these figures so much. It turns out that Beast vs. Tribal Chief 3-pack featuring the Paul Heyman is actually going to be re-released on its own in the For the Vault Series 2. And finally from the vault is going to be that Ringside Collectibles exclusive DX Shawn Michaels. A lot of people missed out on this. It fetches a pretty big price tag on the secondary market and now you're going to have a chance to get it. Yesterday, we saw renders of Elite Series 112. Today, we saw two of those figures in full-on form, and that is Becky Lynch in that rogue-style gear and JD McDonough in the entrance gear. Looks great. Um, I hope they improve the head just a little bit, but he does come with that interchangeable hair. Moving on to more Elite Ringside Collectibles exclusives, the Defining Moments 4-pack is going to feature LA Knight, this cane, which is awesome, also going to get this RVD with the ECW titles. I love this. And one more figure, the fourth figure, that's going to be revealed tomorrow on Sunday at the panel with CM Punk. So I'm assuming it's going to be a CM Punk. Next up, one of my personal favorite lines, the WWE Superstars line exclusive to Walmart. And finally, Rey Mysterio is entering into the realm of that line. And he's going to be featured in this ECW slash WCW inspired gear. Very, very cool. I love the pink. Um, so I'm excited to have this one in there. Also... We saw a test shot of Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and today we got to see the actual figure. It looks incredible. Um, everything about this, this is such a toyetic one that absolutely belongs in the line, so I'm pretty excited about this. Another one that we saw a test shot of is Razor Ramon. Yes, Scott Hall has gotten a WWE Superstars figure, but he's not only getting one in the blue, but he's getting a chase variant in those tights that he never wore we've seen the concept art in all those scott hall documentaries right and now it's going to be in figure form and honestly i'd like to see it as an elite moving on to ultimates can i get a yeah we are getting la knight in the ultimate edition line this is great didn't see it coming so soon but man is it well deserved he's got two interchangeable heads along with the one that comes standard on the body interchangeable hands with his hand signs a cloth good shirt you know he's got to have a microphone this figure is going to be hot this is one i mean i can't find his basics his elites are going to be the same thing but this ultimate is going to fly off the shelves also in that set, we showed you yesterday the render is Rey Mysterio from WrestleMania 39 when he fought Dominic. I love this new mask head sculpt that they got going on. I was hoping we were going to get figures like this. And now we are in the Ultimate Edition line. This figure looks great. Rey is somebody who's deserving of so many Ultimates, and I love this modern day one. But not only that, we are getting Dirty Dom. And Dirty Dom is coming with all of his entrance gear. He's coming with that interchangeable Rey Mysterio head. I think the sculpts look great. I love the jacket. I love the interchangeable arms so you can have him in his entrance gear and his ring gear. This is a must-have for me. We also got a glance at an upcoming Target exclusive WWE Funko Pop of The Undertaker in the purple and black. I love this one. The hair's coming over his face. No hat, but he's doing a pretty cool sinister um, arm motion. This one, I'm definitely going to have to pick up. And moving on, we hit up Zombie Sailor Toys and we saw some of his upcoming figures. And boy, were they heavily ECW inspired. I'm assuming because we are in Philadelphia, we saw a hand-painted uh, Henry O'Godwin, which looks incredible. 
we saw a Sandman in the Zubas. He's got a beer. He's got the Singapore cane. He's got the shirt and an excellent head sculpt. Possibly even better than that Mattel Elite we saw yesterday. Too Cold Scorpio. ECW style is coming to Zombie Sailor Toys heels and faces as well as Masato Tanaka's first ever action figure. We are also getting the franchise Shane Douglas. Look at the tassels on those boots and what might be the best Francine figure ever. I know she hasn't had many, but she is deserving of them. We also saw this incredible Hakushi. This is a figure I wanted when I was a kid in the Hasbro line, and man, the detail on this is amazing. The uh, shoes on his feet to all of the crinkles in the pants. He's got the belt, but one thing, all those characters all over his face and body, they are not the same line over and over and over again. Each line is different with all different characters, different orders. And I'm very curious if he knows what they say. I even asked him that. And he made a joke saying, uh, yeah, they all say Zombie Sailor is an a-hole. His words, not mine. We had, we had a good laugh. But also, he showed off the Aldo Montoya, which looks incredible. Hats off to Zombie Sailor. He's doing a great job with these things. I'm super excited to add these to the collection. I'm an ECW guy, so you know I'm picking all these up. And finally, everybody's been wondering, where is the 7-inch line? But they're coming soon. And he showed off a couple that, you know, we haven't really seen in high detail. We know what the King Kong Bundy looks like. We know what the Brian Pillman looks like. But we didn't even know Abdullah was coming. And we weren't sure what gear Jeff Jarrett was wearing. And this thing pops. I love all those colors. I love the purple and yellow, the hands, everything about it. I'm super excited for this 7-inch line. But also... If you look behind them, you will see a prototype of the Macho Man and CM Punk right there behind him standing up. These figures are looking great. I'm stoked to get an updated 7-inch Abdul the Butcher as well as that Jeff Jarrett. So that is all of the reveals for day three at WrestleMania in Philadelphia. I am loving everything that we are seeing, and I cannot wait to see more tomorrow. I have a feeling we're going to get an influx of all different types of stuff, which is going to be very, very exciting. It's a great time to be a wrestling figure collector. Comment below. Let me know what you're most excited about that you've seen so far. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose mock and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.